This is an excerpt from the four hour work week by Timothy Ferris. It is all related to a law that was introduced to me by Ed Zichau in the spring of 2000. I had arrived to class nervous and unable to concentrate. The final paper, worth 25% of the semester's grade, was due in 24 hours. One of the options, and that which I had chosen, was to interview the top executives of a startup and provide in-depth analysis of their business model. The corporate powers that had to be decided, the corporate powers that be had decided last minute that I couldn't interview two key figures or use their information due to confidential confidentiality issues and pre-IPO precautions. Game over. I approached Ed after class to deliver the bad news. Ed, I think I'm going to have to. I need an extension on the paper. I explained the situation. Ed smiled before smiled before he replied without so much as a hint of concern. I think you'll be okay. Entrepreneurs are those who make things happen, right? 24 hours later and one, mi one, mi one minute before the deadline, as his assistant was locking the office, I handed in a 30-page final paper. It was based on a different company I'd found, interviewed, and dissected with an intense all-nighter and enough caffeine to get an entire Olympic track team disqualified. I ended up being one of the best paper it ended up being one of the best papers I've written in four years, and I received an A. Before I left the class the previous day, Ed had given me some parting advice, Parkinson's Law. Parkinson's Law dictates that a task will swell in perceived importance and complexity in relation to the time allotted for its completion. It is the magic of the imminent deadline. If I give you 24 hours to complete a project, the time pressure forces you to focus on the execution, and you have no choice but to do only the bare essentials. If I give you a week to complete the same task, it's six days of making a mountain out of a molehill. If I give you two months, God forbid, it becomes a mental monster. The end product of the shorter deadline is almost inevitably of equal or higher quality due to greater focus. This presents a very curious phenomenon. There are two synergistic approaches for increase, increasing productivity that are inversions of each other. One, limit tasks to the important to shorten the work time, 80-20. Two, shorten work time to limit tasks to the important, Parkinson's Law. The best solution to both the best solution is to use both together. Identify the few critical tasks that contribute most to income and schedule them with very short and clear deadlines. If you haven't identified the mission critical tasks and set aggressive start and end times for their completion, the unimportant becomes the important. Even if you know what's critical, without deadlines that create focus, the minor tasks forced upon you or inv invented in the case of the entrepreneur, will swell to consume time, will swell to consume time until another bit of minutia jumps in to replace it, leaving you at the end of the day with nothing accomplished. How else could you drop off? How else could dropping off a package at UPS, setting up, a few, setting a few appointments, and checking email consume an entire nine-five day? Don't feel bad. I spent months jumping from one interruption to the next, feeling run by that feeling run by my business instead of the other way around.